Ever wished your drone could capture everything around you? Or strap you straight into the cockpit for a heart-racing FPV ride? That's the showdown. Insta360 Anti-Gravity A1 vs DJI Avatar 2. One's a 360-degree creative powerhouse, the other's built for pure speed and thrill. But which is really worth your money? We'll break down flying experience, image quality, durability, controls, and who each drone is best for. Then I'll give you clear picks for vloggers, filmmakers, and thrill seekers. Let's start with the Insta360 Anti-Gravity A1, because honestly, this drone feels like it came out of a sci-fi movie. Instead of a gimbal and a forward-facing camera, you've got dual lenses, top and bottom, working together to give you a seamless 360-degree view. That means orientation doesn't matter. Spin mid-air, fly sideways, doesn't matter. You'll still have the entire world captured. And the coolest trick, the landing gear folds up after takeoff, so the drone itself basically disappears in your footage. That's some James Bond-level invisibility. It's also lightweight, under 250 grams, which is a sneaky advantage. Not only does it make it easier to throw in a backpack, but in some regions, it means you dodge stricter drone laws. But here's the downside, those exposed lenses. If you crash, and let's be honest, everyone crashes sometimes, scratching that glass would be a nightmare. No gimbal replacements here. And while Insta360 promises 8K 360 capture, the early prototypes still max out lower. So while the potential is insane, the execution right now is a mix of wow and wait and see. Now swing to Avatar 2. If the A1 is about creativity, this one is about adrenaline. It looks like a classic Cinehoop FPV drone. Compact frame, built-in prop guards, slimmer than the first Avatar, and importantly, tougher. DJI designed this thing knowing that FPV pilots crash a lot. So it's more robust, which is already a confidence boost for beginners. For footage, DJI leans on its Action 4 camera tech. 4K at 60 frames per second, buttery smooth slow motion, D-Log M for grading, and an ultra-wide 155-degree field of view. Basically, the Avatar 2 is like strapping a GoPro to a roller coaster, except you're the one steering. Battery life? Yeah, it's FPV standard, 6 to 8 minutes per pack. But that's the game, short, thrilling bursts of flight. Where the A1 lets you fly slow and think about editing later, the Avatar 2 wants you in the moment, zipping through trees, gaps, and cityscapes. Here's where things get spicy. The A1 is built around motion control. Forget learning pitch, your roll, you literally steer with your wrist, using a trigger for altitude and a dial for orientation. Paired with the goggles, it feels natural, almost like a VR game. Great for beginners who don't want to crash on day one. The Avatar 2 also ships with a motion controller, the RC3, so the flying feels similarly intuitive at first. Point, go, done. But DJI gives you options. As you get better, you can switch to a traditional stick remote and unlock full manual FPV, flips, dives, freestyle tricks. That flexibility is huge. So if you just want easy flying, both are solid. But if you want to grow into real FPV, the Avatar 2 takes the win. So here's the real fork in the road, workflow. The A1's promise is freedom, capture everything. Then in editing, reframe however you want. Want a cinematic forward shot? Easy. Want to rotate mid-flight and make it look like a chase scene? Done. You can even fake multiple drones shooting the same flight path. It's editing heavy, but insanely powerful for storytellers. The Avatar 2 is the opposite. What you see is what you get. But what you get is already cinematic. The footage feels immersive right out of the box, and with DJI's O4 transmission, you're flying up to 8 miles away in perfect conditions with minimal lag. That means fewer hours in Premiere, more hours actually filming. So, are you a fix-it-in-post creator or a ready-to-upload creator? That's the question. If you're a travel vlogger or TikTok editor who loves flexibility, the A1 is your dream. One flight equals 10 camera angles. If you're into adrenaline, snow sports, or learning FPV, 
The Avatar 2 is safer, tougher, and built for thrills. Honestly, owning both would be perfect. A one for creative shots, Avatar 2 for raw immersion. But if you have to choose, it comes down to this. Create in post, A1, or create in real time, Avatar 2. So, which side are you on? Team, capture everything with the A1, or team, feel the rush with the Avatar 2? Drop your pick in the comments.